My goodness, what a glorious day it is. You know why? Cause I'm Nolan's bound. Today, y'all, I'm heading to Louisiana with one of my bestest girlfriends, Donna Foltz, who always brings the fun. This could turn into the Real Housewives <laughs> of Savannah. <laughs> First, it's a sloppy roast beef poor boy. And then it's a Nolan's favorite, y'all, stuffed artichokes. Look how gorgeous that looks, y'all. And topping off this meal, we've got some Nolan's chicory coffee and an upside down apple praline cake that'll knock you right off your feet. Our tongues are gonna wanna <laughs> slap our brains out. Oh my God, it's Annette Funicello. <laughs> It's not, it's Donna Foltz. <laughs> you look Hi. like Annette. <laughs> you know what? Donna was born and raised in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Now, she sounds like she's from Joyzy. Because she'll come in, she said, Paul, can we have coffee and talk? <laughs> I said, girl, how did a girl from New Orleans come out with that kind of voice? <laughs> talk to them, baby. Hello, good morning. It's good to see everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, Nolan's is Donna City, y'all. Her father, he played on Bourbon Street. Yes, he did. And there's no better person to take us to Nolan's than a Nolan's grown girl. And we're going to pay tribute with an upside down apple praline cake. I've got to get our sugar in okay. with our butter and I'm going to put in two and a quarter cups okay. of sugar to my two sticks of butter. And I'm creaming that. Then I'll add five eggs. Donna is putting together our dry ingredients. They are three cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth a teaspoon of grated fresh nutmeg. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. So now I can turn this down. There, we can turn that down a little bit so we can hear each other think. Okay, good. For our wet, I'm gonna be using buttermilk today. It's gonna make it so good. It's gonna give it a little tang. And if you'll mix that up, Donna, sure. we are gonna add alternately our buttermilk with our dry ingredients. And you always start with your dry ingredients okay. and end with your dry ingredients. So this is gonna be yummy. We used to have pineapple upside down cake and I yes. know this is very similar. After yes. we had a, a big crawfish boil or a seafood boil, we'd, yeah. all, we'd, all, we'd all get together. Uh, what, what was your daddy's heritage? Was he French? No, he was Italian. He was Italian. Yes. How about your mother? German. German. Mm-hmm. Now, how did they wind up in New Orleans? Well, they All met right. at we a can high school add. in New Orleans. They, they, they attended did. At the same high school, and they were high school sweethearts. Oh, and, um, how romantic. Yeah. And my dad was um, a trumpet player for many, many years. All righty. That looks so good. Doesn't it look it's good? A pretty you, you can see, Very yeah. Pretty. You can see it's got enough cinnamon. Why don't you come around okay. here, Donna, and start preparing our pans? Sure. We've got our melted butter, and if you would just divide the butter okay. between the two pans. You know, New Orleans is a lot like Savannah in many ways. It, it is. They it's remind me. Very historical me. town. They remind me very much of yes. each other. They're very similar. All right. Now we're just going to put like three quarters of a cup of brown sugar sprinkled over that melted butter in each pan. Yum. This is so pretty. Yes, this is isn't so, it pretty? reminds me of New Orleans. Anything that has this, these pecan pralines. And yes. Now you call it praline. I know. We say pecan, too. We say, say pecan. Pecan. We say pecan. We say praline. <laughs> we say crawfish. Crawfish. Mm-hmm. Some people say crayfish. Crayfish. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to core this apple. OK. And then we're going to slice them. OK. We've got a Granny okay. Smith and we got a Fuji. We're not even going to peel them, Donna. OK. Great. That makes it so much easier. Yeah, when we're going to slice them. OK, good. Real thin. And then we're going to layer them on top okay. of that melted butter and mm. brown sugar. 
and those Yum. apples are going to cook and they're going to get all caramelized mm. and gooey and our tongues are going to want to <laughs> slap our brains out. <laughs> oh, goodness. When is the last time you've been back to New Orleans? Um, it's been about a year. It's been Has about it? a year, yes. All right, Donna, I'm going to start layering my apples. Okay. We are fixing to take a road trip, though. Oh, that is going to be uh, so much fun. We have rented an RV, and we're going to... All right, you do yours, oh. and I'll do mine, oh, well, don't, don't be taking my apples. Keep your hands off my circle. Well, or this could my... turn into the Real Housewives of Savannah. <laughs> You're going taking, to New Orleans. Why are you using my apples? Because we're mixing them, doo-doo. Oh. Wait, I meant Donner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need some of yours. I want you to have some. <laughs> so I'm Great. just going to take our batter and just divide it until okay. all of our batter is gone. So we're going to put these in the oven at, yeah. yes, they're like you, they're pretty. <laughs> We're gonna put them in the oven, 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. Y'all hang around because you're not gonna believe what we're gonna do to these two cake layers. Perfect, perfect homage to New Orleans. Yay! Coming up next, y'all are fixing to find out why Donna is one of my best cooking buddies. It's gorgeous, you're gorgeous, it's delicious, you're edible. And later, don't forget, to come back because we've got lots of Nolan's fun coming up. Mmm. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm in here in the kitchen with one of my dearest friends in the whole world, Donna Foltz, and she is constantly talking about mm. this sandwich. Of course, as many meals if, as you've cooked for me, you have never oh, made no. this sloppy oh, roast my. beef po' boy. Oh, and you know, Nolens is famous for all kind of po' boys. So that's what Donna's gonna make us. Yes. Okay, so what we're doing is I'm taking this two and a half pound eye of the round roast, mm -hmm. stuffing it with five large cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to put the large cloves, y'all, because when you slice it, you slice it very thin, you can actually see mm -hmm. the garlic clove. It's really right, cool. Right, and get yeah. slices of yeah. that garlic. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna salt this beef and we're gonna put it into the pot. The heated vegetable oil, it's about- Yeah, I put about two tablespoons okay, probably about in two, here. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna put half a bell pepper and mm -hmm. two bay leaves. So we're okay. gonna put this and sear it. This is probably the most important part of this po' boy sandwich okay. recipe because the gravy is gonna come from the drippings from this process. Yeah. You wanna turn it as few times as you have to. Okay. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wash my hands. And okay. there's a term in New Orleans that is called dressed. You go into a restaurant, you order a sandwich, they'll ask you at the counter, well, would you like it dressed? And I don't know, I'd kind of like mine naked. <laughs> well, that simply means that you would have lettuce, tomato, pickles, oh, okay. and mayonnaise. Extra mayonnaise. Yes, extra yes. mayonnaise. Because when Donna talks about this sandwich to me, y'all, she talks about <laughs> licking her arm. Well, well so. it's the gravy and the mayonnaise, yes, it runs down your elbows. It is a messy sandwich, but it's absolutely delicious, and it's not as good if it's not sloppy. Yeah. Okay, this is All looking right, really good. Okay, are you kind of ready to? Yeah, it's almost time we can, ooh, look, look at that pretty. big old chunk of yeah, garlic, y'all, right there. It's pretty, yeah. Okay, so we're going to um, add hot water to it. Yeah, two cups of water. You want to add that, please? Yes. And, and slowly, well, so I was going to say we need yes, to stand back. Yes. So. So we're gonna drop in our bell pepper so and yes. our bay leaves. So now we're gonna put our two bay leaves uh -huh. and half of this bell pepper. And we're gonna continue to monitor, you know, the water. Okay. And see if the level goes down. If it goes down too much, we're gonna add some more hot water. Okay. So we're gonna leave this about three hours. We're gonna go down, we're gonna okay. stuff the artichokes. I love and yay. artichokes. 
Love, okay, love, yay. love them. All right, so, now you tell me what to start putting together okay. and I will do it. Okay, you can do two cups of breadcrumbs. Of breadcrumbs. And okay. then one half cup of cheese. And I am chopping two okay. large cloves of garlic. One quarter cup of olive oil. Okie doke. And then we're gonna add half this lemon juice. And now I'm chopping some flat leaf Italian parsley. Um, we're gonna do a tablespoon and a half. You can't have too much parsley. I know. So we're gonna um, stuff those artichokes. You're doing okay. a great job. This is interesting, y'all. This is, now do you serve this as a side, Donna? We, you know, or Paula, an appetizer or? Well, this is the situation with these artichokes. Any, almost any deli that you uh -huh. go into in New Orleans, when you go to buy your sliced cold cuts, there normally is a tray of stuffed artichokes. Really? It's just a thing that people in New Orleans love. Well, and I'll be dog. Well, I always try to take in a, a grocery store when I'm in New Orleans. Yes. But I've never noticed the, the stuffed artichokes. Yes. Look um, how gorgeous that looks, y'all. And, you know, some people use um, different things to stuff them with. Uh-huh. So and it's really... And a good old uh, loaf of French bread. Oh, that would be so delicious. Aren't the breads in New Orleans wonderful? Yes, they really are. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to get some aluminum foil. Mm-hmm. If you give me... All right, um, how big a piece Like you about want? this big, because we're going to sit that artichoke. Okay, about yeah. like that? Yeah, perfect. Thanks. Okie doke. We're gonna put this in here. You always use some lemon juice uh -huh, on top. Uh huh. We're gonna put a nice slice of lemon. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this like uh -huh, this. Uh huh. And we're gonna put it in the pot. Now Donna has about an inch and a half of cold water in here. I love cooking with my friends <laughs> that are from different areas of the country from me because, you know, there's so many different ways to do things and we kind of get stuck in the way that we were originally taught. That's so right. So this That's is true. so much fun for me. And I love cooking for Paula because <laughs> she is... I like to eat. <laughs> well, she just, she's not picky or fussy and she enjoys everything. And she likes to taste new things, which is yes, great. Yes, I do. It's fun to cook for someone like that. Definitely. All right, so we're going to cover this. So if you're only cooking two artichokes, you're looking at maybe two hours. True. Lay it on, forget about it, honey. <laughs> but don't forget to come back, because it's going to get good. Coming up, Donna's got even more great tips to share with us, y'all. Do y'all see why Donna and I are such good friends? And later, we're treating ourselves to something a little extra. You are a bad influence <laughs> on me, buddy. Yeah. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. All right, we're back. Uh, Donna's things look so wonderful. And our mm. beef roast, our round is ready. We are going to just take our bell pepper out, right? Yes. We're okay, gonna we'll, that. we'll lay it right yes, here. Perfect. So now I'm going to make our gravy. Now, y'all, I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour to our leftover juices right here in the pot. So we'll let that cook for a second and see if I need to add some more. And I'm going to slice this roast. Look at that garlic. Oh, my goodness. Look I see it. Look at this garlic, it. how pretty. It's starting to get a little thick. Let's see. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It's so delicious. Good. Now, what we're going to do the it cooks, is the we're going to put some of these slices back into the pot. Get out, honey. Go. Yes. Okay, you ready? I am. I was ready about two mm. hours ago. Oh, my goodness, girl. You should be spanked and arrested. <laughs> you oh, see, in New Orleans, Donner. what they call this, all this uh -huh, here, uh -huh. they call it debris. Like the best part. Yes, we're gonna the best put part. it in, aren't we? Yes, and what you and you can go into a restaurant and you mm -hmm. can order a debris 
Poor boy. A debris. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, now. okay. You got our French bread We're back good. there. We're done. Okay, now, let's... Now, have you toasted that? Yes. Here we are. Yum. This looks fabulous. So what we're gonna mm. do, oh my gosh, first we gotta put the gravy. Oh, yum. Look, mm, love that. Some mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yes. Yum. <laughs> look, look. Do y'all see why Donna and I are such good friends? Uh, we kinda eat the same way. <laughs> now, we're gonna get the roast. Here you hold it, thanks. Oh, my gracious granny. Oh, yes. Yum. Yes. And then we're gonna put some pickle yes. slices that we're gonna just grab here since my hands are clean. Yes. Yum. No onion, Donna. No onion. So then you wrap it in the parchment paper, which is mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Cut it in half. Okay. Oh. And then there you have a beautiful po' boy. Look at that. Donna, I can't, Ooh, I can't wait for the artichoke. Okay. All right, now, so the key here is not to eat your paper. Right. Oh, yum. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Legend has it that these mm. group of working men would come into the yes. store Right. At lunchtime, just hungry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they, since crawfish and shrimp were plentiful, mm -hmm. they could do these sandwiches really cheaply for these guys. Mm -hmm. And they called them poor boys because they'd say, mm. here comes those poor boys, let's fix them some lunch. Oh. Something the yeah, poor boys can afford. Yeah, that's very cool. Well, I'm ready to taste my artichoke. Yum. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Now. Take that, and this is what you do. Hold okay, like which this. end do we go from? You go from the, the top. The stem You end. eat this part. Okay. So what you do is you do... Uh-huh. Mmm. 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 Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Mmm. You wouldn't think all that would work, would you? Okay, try that. You know the technique? Mm-hmm. I'm about to get full, Donna. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's delicious? Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous? <laughs> it's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. It's delicious. <laughs> You're edible. <laughs> Up next, we've got one more stop on our trip to Nolens, y'all, with this dessert. Do you feel like you're in Nolens yet? Yes, I do, girl. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, we got our first one out, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Are you excited? Oh, I am. I cannot wait. I am, too. Mm, yum, mm. yum, mm, yum. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm gonna put a few a of these one? in between. Yes! Mm. Look how good. Now those pecans mm -hmm. are gonna be so good in there. All right, Delicious. now we got our frosting in here, Donna. Mm. Okay. And we're just gonna put it in between. Now we made this icing earlier by whipping together some cream and sugar, adding some melted caramel sauce, and then just putting it in the freezer. You can find this recipe at foodnetwork.com. Mm. And I'm gonna just spread this mousse. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do you feel like you're in knowledge yet? Yes, I do, girl. <gasps> oh <laughs> my gosh. I it know. Is beautiful. All right, Donna. Yum. Yum. Yes. We got to garnish yes. this. Those are delicious. Look how Yay, gorgeous. Beautiful. Yum. All right, Donna, I've got us some coffee brewed over here. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna girl. fill up our cups 
with some vanilla ice cream. Yeah. If you want to pour the coffee, yes. I've got a good, strong coffee. Mm. You know, New Orleans is, is known for their coffee, yes, yes. and especially their chicory coffee. And I was told that the reason they added chicory to it was, I guess, maybe during the Depression. I'm not yeah. sure. To stretch In it? order to stretch their really? coffee because it was so expensive. I did not know that. They would add chicory to oh. it. This is beautiful. Yes, this is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yum. That. Beautiful. Mm. Nice. And this just goes like perfect. Mm. Along oh. with our cake, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at that, girl. How pretty. And let's come on over and we'll cut us a piece of cake. Yum. <laughs> you are a bad influence on me, buddy. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all, the best cake that you have ever had. Oh my goodness, and it really wasn't that difficult to make. No, it wasn't. Look at that apple that wants Yum. to come out, Donna. Delicious. Let's fold him up and put him mm. right there. Mm. Tuck him nice and safely away. You ready? So nobody can hurt him. Mm. But me. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Donna. Thank you for having me. To my dear buddy. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.